Love and Light friends coming at you today from Lewisburg. Let's talk about self hate. What is self hate? What does that mean? Does it mean you hate yourself? Well, almost nobody would admit to that. But are we naive enough to think that people that do terrible things to other people a quick simple example would be you know a soldier going to war gets on an airplane flies to some distant country is given a gun and told he has an enemy and will just kill people. They don't don't know the people, never met them, don't know a thing about them. Oh, well, they have a gun and they're going to kill me. Well, if somebody was trying to break into your house and you had a gun, do you think that you might get the gun to defend yourself? But you as the burglar breaking in justify killing the person in the house because the person in the house has a gun they're trying to protect their family their country their land their whatever their life and people that do terrible things to animals and they Always justify it, of course. The ego has to justify its own ignorance. So if you're causing misery to animals and torturing them to try to discover something for the betterment of man, don't you think there you might find a better way to discover things for man than torturing living things? And causing them misery and ultimately death. And then the earth itself. Slinging bombs around, exploding things. Cutting down ancient old growth forests. Because you got something down under the dirt that you need to get so that you can cash that in for money. All of these things are self-hatred. You have to hate yourself in order to carry out these kind of actions. And you will never consciously allow yourself to know this you will never admit this I should say they because I know most of you are not in this category but we've all done this we've all been there and maybe some of you actually are still there maybe we all are still there maybe we all still are healing from this thing of self-hatred Because when we look for things to judge, we look for things to blame, we're still not seeing that we're all one. And by judging 
and labeling and society seems to be at an all-time high at this point with this very activity we're still trying to divide we're still trying to categorize we're still trying to figure out what group we're in what label we fall under and this has everything to do with self-hatred and self-hatred has everything to do with ego In other words, we still don't know who we are. We still don't get it. But we're in the process of healing. That's why so many people are waking up. Waking up really is just another way of saying healing. And when you are healed and you no longer hate yourself, you will no longer hate your brother. You will no longer project labels and judgments. And we probably still have some little ways to go here with just getting to the point of acknowledging how damaged we are, we ourselves individually are. Due to repeated trauma. Constantly hearing the same miserable tales of predictive programming of what your future is. They want us to believe that war is imminent. They want us to believe that we have an enemy. They want us to believe that we need to prepare and constantly have in the conscious mind all these terrible things that are going to befall humanity. And it's very clear we hate ourselves. We hate ourselves. And it seems to make sense that we would hate ourselves because we, we as the egotistical people, we as egotistical people, humans, are the cancer growing on the organism of the earth. And see, in that self-hatred, we could then go on to say, well, then humans should just be eradicated and the earth would be fine. But that's not what the human experience is about. It's not about coming this far to be eradicated. It's about coming this far to understand who and what we really are and what we're really not and being honest about what we have been. So everybody got affected with this self-hatred and then projected it onto everybody else or somebody else or anything else. Because your ego is not going to let you admit to yourself that really you hate yourself because of all these terrible qualities that you have, that we have. You, I, we, it's all the same thing.
but we we we're healing we're healing we're coming to understand this and we will heal and when we heal the earth will heal because we will stop participating stop participating in being an ego and then the ego will then stop doing any of the crazy shit that it does because it hates itself because our spirit knows our true self knows our higher self knows that this is not who we are and that we don't do these kinds of things and carry on as though it's normal as though we're normal And those that would have us to continue as egos know this. That's why they're constantly putting predictive programming into your conscious and subconscious mind through their networks of MSM and entertainment. <laughs> entertainment. Can you imagine thinking that it's entertaining to put a disease into your own subconscious mind so that you can therefore be corrupted from within and become something you're not and do things that you would never do if you knew who you were? That's entertaining somehow. That's considered entertainment somehow. And we participate for one reason if we are because we hate ourselves. We hate what we've become. As rightly we should. But see, it's what you do with this understanding that makes all the difference. Because in your self-hatred, if you turn to alcohol to numb it, if you turn to drugs to numb it, if you turn to denial to forget it, you're going to die of cancer. But if you will face the most disgusting thing you've ever seen, which is the realization that all of this stuff you see out there that you say that you hate and you judge and you f makes your ego feel better, that at least you don't do this or that or the other, makes you feel a little better about being this thing that you're not. And there's no healing, there's no resolve from that. But when we're honest, and we can honestly say, yes, all of the, whatever you want to call it, uh, crap let's just call it crap all the crap is in me has been me i have participated in all manner of the crap that has become a cancer on this beautiful wonderful world I see how put in certain circumstances I could potentially do the most horrific things imaginable in this egoic state 
in this false self state. But that is not me. That is not who I truly am. And so I need to make a metamorphosis. I need to become the higher self by seeing that the cancer is me. And I guess I should say was me because I no longer, I've awakened to it. I've accepted the higher self. I see that humanity needs to heal from this self-hatred by seeing who we really are and not seeing through the eyes of the ego of judgment and vanity. Because you've got to be pretty vain to start killing people you don't even know. You've got to be pretty insane to torture animals and cause misery to animals and then justify it. And what do we call that? Cold-hearted. Cold-hearted. So that means the heart isn't working. That means the heart portal is completely closed down. That means you have sunk to the lowest position within the self that you could be at. Which would be the root chakra. The lowest chakra where the base animalistic instincts, if you will, are attributed to man, the fight or flight, uh, the survival mode. I must survive at all costs. Like you're so important in that state as a consumer and a destroyer. You're so important that you must survive at all cost as the egoic, fleshly human. And that base state of consciousness. But if you could rise back up to the center of your being, which is the heart, heart portal. If you could rise to that place and begin to see who you really are and who we really are. You will metamorphosize. We will metamorphosize. And we will drop that egoic insanity that masquerades to be us and become all that we truly are and have come all this way down through the ages or up through the ages this is all happening within it's all happening within. The devil within you and me, the Satan, is the ego that rebelled against the God of heaven. The God of heaven is you, is your higher self, is your activated consciousness. It's all metaphor for what's been going on inside of you, inside of us.
the sun is a heart, is a stargate that takes you into other parts of the galaxy, physically speaking, and other parts of the self, internally speaking. Consider what I'm saying. And learn to love yourself. Learn, discover who you are. And you will not even have to learn to love yourself. You will love yourself. You will love your fellow humanity because you will see who and what we really are. And it's hard to see that when all we see and hear is ego, 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 24-7. The false self still masquerading as you, as me, as us. So don't give up, friends. Don't become beat down. No matter what they say, no matter what the predictive programmers try to throw out there to lower your state of consciousness, to get you into fear, to pull you into the lower chakras, to make you depart from your heart. Because the minute you depart from your heart, you're going to forget who you are. And you will be back in your egoic state. And you will be back into the thinking of survival mode. And how... Can I survive? What must I do? And, and, and the ego will do anything. So you might kill your brother. If the circumstances are right. Don't forsake your heart. No matter what. And if you got to die yourself, die knowing and being and standing in and as your higher self, because you do not die. No matter what they do to the sleeve or the body, you do not die. You will not die. We are immortal. Your consciousness is immortal. And you will simply pass on into your next phase. But if you depart your heart and you die as an ego, you'll be back in this lower world in this very same position that we're in right now. Thinking the very same things you're thinking now coming to the very same realizations that we've done this before many times. And why do we keep doing this? Why do we keep ending up here? It's one simple answer. You departed your heart and became the ego also known as hardening your heart. And you died as something and someone you were not. And you cannot go 
higher, forward, onward, until you know who you are. So if you die as something and someone you're not, you have to do it again because you don't know who you are still. And you can't go forward not knowing who you are. You can't go forward being something that somebody else has told you you are. Trying to conform to all these things that, that they've thrown at us from our birth till now. That you're this, you're that, you got to do it this way, you got to believe this way, you got to bow this way, you got to bend that way, you got to pray this way, and you have no idea who you are. We have no idea who we are in that state, in that mental place of basically insanity. Uh, Basically, the world is full of egos that are insane and have no idea what's what. But that is not you, and that is not us, and that is not me, for we live, abide, exist in the heart, from the heart. The portal that takes us to another place and another being, which is your higher self, which is the true you, which is not fooled by all of this foolery going on. And you will ascend. You're ascending right now. And we will continue to ascend. Until we are standing firmly. In the new world. On the new earth. Which is the higher self. And oneness love, unity, and light. You've traveled thousands of years to get here. You've been through many life times, lived many lives, done many things, had many experiences to get here. And for whatever reason and whoever they are attempting to keep you from remembering, to keep you in your ego, and it's worked so many times. It's worked for so many other selves, but it will not work for you. This time, you will not forget. This time, we will stay in our hearts. We will integrate our higher selves and we will ascend and nothing shall stop that. Because it would only be us that, that, that would allow that to be stopped. You see, it's by your consent. Nothing is forced upon you. Nobody can pull you into hell. You would have to agree to go there. And we know too much. We've awakened too much. Too much.